Hello, hello, hello. This is 8th House Goddess coming to you with another Tarot Oracle Read. Um, today we are utilizing a deck that I've had for a minute but have not used um, that much. But um, the Resilience Alchemy um, Oracle deck. And a couple of days ago, you know, I just kind of heard in my sha na na to, to pull it out and use it. So here we are using the Resilience Alchemy deck by Maud White. Maud White. Okay. And um, when I was working with it today, uh, the card that popped out, I think I'm going to use it with my uh, Hoodoo Tarot, but we'll see. The card that popped out, popped out was Shadow Holder. And there's a whole system with the um, deck. And, you know, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I rarely use the system that they set up. <laughs> I mean, it's a great system, but it's just whatever. Um, I just kind of do it more intuitively. And, you know, whatever. So, this card came out, and it says that the sisters... This is it's the seventeenth sister. Can you see that? And it's shadow holder. It says she opens a box full of shadows. So I thought, yeah, we we gonna need to talk about that. Listen, if if this is your first time uh, joining in, then welcome in. I'm so glad that you are here. If you have been here before, then welcome back. Thank you so much, so much for uh, supporting my videos. I want to say thank you to everybody for your donations, for your uh, questions, for booking your personal readings, um, for your likes and your shares and your comments. I thank you so much for your energy exchange in any way that it comes. I am honored and I say thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys helped me to uh, build the channel and I'm so grateful for that. Um, if you resonate with the reading, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. If you do not, don't leave a thumbs down. Just go to the next video. It's okay because we want to keep everything positive and uh, moving forward and on an upward, you know, mobility. And so, having said all of that, uh, let's get into it and see what we can find out from the shadow holder. She opens a box full of shadows. She opens a box. She's a sister. She's a mentor. A guide. And she opens a box full of shadows. <laughs> okay. And so, thinking about someone opening a box of shadows, that takes me immediately in my mind to uh, shadow work, to finding out what it is that we are um, in is hidden. It's you know the moon card. It's uh, what's in the shadow, what's in the darkness. What have we not dealt with yet? What do we not want to see or deal with? And the way that the the deck is set up, um, there are questions that you can do a whole spread to find out what's in the shadow, what you need to deal with, and that type of thing. Now, I'm gonna read a little bit from uh, the book and it says, there is a box of shadows that is cluttered and is full inside of you. It is heavy with weight and has been filled by your fear, your shame, your disappointment and it must be cleared out <laughs> I like that it has been filled by us this box of shadows okay <laughs> and 
it has been filled by us. Now, there is a place. This It says the place remedy. Place remedy is the doorway. It's going to make sense, guys. Just stick with me, okay? The place is the doorway. Where did we um, fill this box of shadows? <laughs> the doorway, which is our heart, right? The doorway, which is our eyes, what we let in through our eyes, what we let in to our heart, right? Remember, there's a... Um, there's a passage of scripture that says that the lioness crouches. At, it's in Genesis. Uh, it's talking about um, Cain and Abel, I think. Um, the lioness crouches at the door. It says sin crouches at the door. And that word sin is, um, it, it doesn't mean breaking the law. It means um, a misstep, an accident, a uh, oops. The word is kata. It means um, a misstep. You know, it doesn't, to miss the mark is what it means. But it's at the door. What is the door? Our heart. Okay. So this doorway, the place, now we're tapping into where did this shadow box get filled? In the doorway, our eyes and our heart. Okay. The things that we see, the things that we let into our heart. Filled our shadow box, and it's got to be, uh oh, and it's got to be cleared out. I like that. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> it says the library, another place. The library, your learning, the things that you have taken in, that you have received, and then these pink cards are action, <laughs> and one of the actions is play. Right? It's happening in, into your inner child. Another action is create. Coming out of the solar plexus um, and sacral. And it's the eighth action. Create. The number eight being the number of infinity. The number of creation. The number of um, rebirth and renewal. Right? Eighth house. Okay? So now let's put it together. We all have shadows. We have a box full of shadows. That we uh, fill that box with the things, the doorway, the things that we see, the things that we let into our heart, let into our minds, the library. How did we fill that box of shadow? The things that we have thought and said and done and seen. Okay, let me pull it down just a little bit. I think you guys will be able to see it. Yeah, okay. And so that's how we fill this shadow box. How do we correct it? We correct it by tapping into our childhood play, right? Being uh, lighthearted and free and available and open to, uh, to deal with our inner child, to create to be reborn or rebirthed, right? To create um, anew, to be created new. I'm gonna try one more from the Resilience Alchemy, and then we're gonna ask ourselves some questions, okay? It says, oh, <laughs> I like that. The other action is to laugh. So now we've got to lighten up. That's really what it's saying. We got play. We got create. We got laugh. That's how we um, deal with the shadow box, right? This mentor, this sister that's guiding us in this shadow, in the sh um, shadow work that we need to do, that we've let in through our eyes and through our heart and through our mind and the things that we consume, you know, into our being and how, what's the action, what's the answer, how do we correct that? Uh, it's through play. It's through laughter. It's through creating a new me, creating a new you. 
right? <laughs> I like it. Number three, number eight, number seven. Number three, number eight, number seven. I've got my little angel number book right here. Let's see what 387 is. I don't know. This is a new one. Um, if I get enough comments on here, I'll do a drawing and give it away. The angel number book. Um, it says, feel fabulous. Attract the joy you deserve. You will align yourself more intensely with your goals and your dreams if you feel wonderful inside. Is that not exactly? <laughs> what we talking about oh my goodness um take time today to feel fabulous dance to your favorite song wear your best outfit or hang out with your most high vibrational friends feel joyful for this life you live the angel number book and that was for number three eight seven so it's giving us a, a remedy. It's giving us an action plan of how it is that we deal with this shadow, this box of shadow <laughs> that we have. Listen, uh, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment um, and put your name or your email and I will put you in a drawing and then I'll, I'll give you the uh, angel number book. Okay. Sound good? Because I like that. It couldn't have been more perfect. <laughs> it really could not have been more perfect. So we want to be mindful of the things that we um, allow into our being. Allow into our solar plexus. And I'm going to I'm gonna see it. Wait a minute. I'm going to see if the um, hoodoo tarot. We'll add anything to it. I meant for this to be very short and kind of concise. Um, and I think that it is. I think that worked out well. Uh, the Ace of Knives or Ace of Swords. Let's get to it. <laughs> Let's do this. Right? What it say? Fabulous. Make today fabulous. Let's get to it. This is not a battle that we need to fight with weapons of warfare. This is a... This is the, this shadow work that we are doing is with love and laughter and play. And we are creating a lighter environment, right, for us to be in. See, lovers. <laughs> we are creating a lighter environment. For us to be in. And we don't care what anybody think about it. You see the family members back there looking sideways. We don't care what anybody thinks about it. You understand? If you want your hair to be pink today. And royal blue next week. So be it. Do it. If it makes you feel good. If it makes you tap into the play. Tap into the laughter. Tap into the childhood. The inner child. Right? We want to set that inner child free. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this up one more time and say, what was it? 38387. Feel fabulous. Feel fabulous. If it makes you feel fabulous, we are not dealing with the weapons of warfare. Now, we are dealing with laughter and play and lightheartedness. But we are serious about it. We are getting to it. Right? And we're not worrying about, we're partnering up. We're doing what we love. We are in agreement with our inner child, the lovers. <laughs> and we don't care what the family think. We don't care what the people say. Right? Okay, let's see if we can do one more. <laughs> one more, because I like it. I like it. This shadow work is... Uh, bringing us to a, a lighter, higher dimension, but a lighter, <laughs> Ooh, if we get another ace, I tell you what, the ace of wands, right? The ace of wands. We're going to take hold, just do it. That's what that is. Just do it. The ace of wands. You see that new growth in there? This is a fire energy card. But it's also just do it. That's that's all I hear. Just do it. Just have fun. Just lighten up. 
lighten up. Everything is not, doesn't have to be so serious and so heavy. I know that we have trauma, you know, that we deal with, um, but lighten up. Lighten up. Last one. 20. Judgment. It's the epiphany. Because when you begin to work in this shadow work, when you begin to feel fabulous, when you recognize where it came from, right? The doorways, and the doorways are your eyes and your heart and your mind, the library, right? You have this epiphany. You see the look on her face like, oh, you have this epiphany. This is the wake-up call. Yeah? The judgment is the wake-up call. Now, what I want, I'm going to do one more angel number. Don't forget, leave a comment, leave your name. I'm going to put you in a drawing for the angel number book. We want to do 116 because we have ace, ace, uh, the lovers, which is number six. So let's do 116 and, <laughs> and see what it is. Wow. <laughs> I'm not going to believe this. It says comparison. Don't look around, only within. <laughs> Shadow work, which is exactly what we're talking about. Your angels remind you that comparing yourself to others only takes away from your own beautiful experience. What do you feel you are lacking? Journal your answer as a letter directly to your angels. Know that they will receive this correspondence and respond to you with signs, symbols, synchronicities. Don't look around. Only look within. Shadow work. Because he that compares themselves among themselves are not wise. <laughs> Listen, that's so good. Give the vid video a thumbs up if you would. I'm going to close it out with that. I'm not going any further because um, that kind of says it all. I appreciate you. <laughs> Please remember to uh, like, share, uh, comment, and subscribe. And until we come together again, this is 8th House Goddess, and I am sending you all of the love and the light. <laughs>